It's been almost exactly a month now since an Alaska Airlines plane lost a door plug mid-flight. While well, happening now, the National Transportation Safety Board is releasing their initial findings on what might have caused that terrifying situation. And Joelle Jones has been digging into this and joins us live in the studio with the latest. Joelle? That's right. And while this is just a preliminary report, the findings are pretty shocking as the National Transportation Safety Board found the four bolts that held that door plug in place were missing before it blew off midair with more than 170 passengers on board. One month after a door plug blew off an Alaskan Airlines flight, forcing an emergency landing in Portland. The National Transportation Safety Board says parts used to secure the door plug and prevent it from moving were missing before the terrifying 20 minute flight. After retrieving the missing piece from a local teacher's backyard and assessing the aftermath, the report found overall the observed damage patterns and absence of contact damage or deformation around holes associated with the vertical movement indicate that the four bolts that prevent upward movement of the MED plug were missing before it moved upward off the stop pads. A sigh of relief that it's a pretty easy fix, that we're missing some bolts that can be expected and we get these planes back flying permanently, but for Boeing it's quite embarrassing. Embarrassing. Multiple things have to happen for something this uh, serious to occur, both a shoddy workmanship and bad inspections. Transportation expert Joe Schwederman says Boeing has a lot of work ahead to ensure passengers feel safe. According to the report, at the time of the blowout, the airplane had accumulated more than 500 hours and 150 cycles without the four securing bolts. Boeing has outsourced a lot of its uh, manufacturing, and I think we're seeing that uh, in the assembly process, there's miscommunications, there's corners being cut, and multiple things had to happen for planes to be flying, you know, millions of hours, you might say, without, uh, without anybody noticing this problem. This comes as Boeing and Spirit Aerosystems, who manufactured the part, face growing criticism. Following the FAA's temporary grounding of 737 MAX 9 planes, most of which have now been inspected and returned to service. In response to the preliminary findings, Boeing president and CEO Dave Calhoun stated in part, quote, whatever final conclusions are reached, Boeing is accountable for what happened. An event like this must not happen on an airplane that leaves our factory. We simply must do better for our customers and their passengers. It's going to be a different Boeing uh, here on out, and that's, that's hard to change company culture, but, but they have no choice. Hmm. And since the incident, Boeing says they put a plan in place to ensure that all of those 737-9 door plugs are installed properly. They also added inspections both at the supplier and factory level and launched an independent assessment and are inviting 737 customers to their factory for reviews. Well, that's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it was a very scary international headlines mm -hmm. making incident. So hopefully they get this all sorted out. Yeah. Yes. And as Schriederman said, they still have a lot of work to do as far as public opinion goes. <laughs>